Manatee County Medical Services is conducting a system-wide training program today for a new life-saving technology. SNN's Allison Henning joins us live in the newsroom with more. Allison. Suzanne, today is the last day of training on this new device that Manatee EMS representatives say is revolutionary in pre-hospital care. Potential to save a life that I have seen in over 30 years in pre-hospital medicine. Manatee County EMS is conducting a system-wide training program to incorporate this device into their everyday operations. Autopulse is an automatic CPR device used on people who go into cardiac arrest. Simply put, it helps save lives. Chief Steve Kravanek says traditional CPR only does 25% of what a pre-arrest heart can do, but Autopulse can virtually match the pre-arrest blood flow. So in other words, it's actually taking over than what the heart was doing before it got sick and went into cardiac arrest. How much better of a chance can you have at surviving a cardiac arrest without something like that. Kravanek believes this device is revolutionary in pre-hospital care. There's no way you can do standing CPR. You can with this, and it's absolutely amazing. One of the biggest advantages of this device is that it can provide CPR in places that responders normally can't, like transporting a patient from a bed to a stretcher. Zandra Evans with Zoll Medical says the autopulse provides safety for both the patients and the providers. Our device delivers 2.8 pounds per square inch of pressure to the chest, where sternal or um, piston-driven devices deliver 25 pounds per square inch. Kravanek has worked with this device at other departments, and he says the results are unbeatable. They arrive with a pulse, a blood pressure. Sometimes they might wake up. I mean, it's just amazing some of the things that happen. Because, again, you're talking pre-arrest heart flow. This is going to have a huge impact. It's going to save lives. Manatee EMS representatives say the goal is to have all of the autopulse devices out on the field by Labor Day weekend. Well, Allison, that seems like it's coming up really fast. How many devices are there? Susan, there are eight autopulse pumps right now, but EMS representatives say this is only phase one. The end goal is to have one device for each of the 20 medic units in Manatee County. Thank you, Allison.